Apart from Celtic Park, there is only one stadium in Scotland's top flight that Rangers have lost more games in than they've won since returning to the top tier of Scottish football. And that stadium is in... I shamefully completely ripped off that fact from everybody's favourite Rangers content creator, CJ Novo. So if you want proper facts, then go and check out his channel because you don't usually get them on this one. But here we are in Kilmarnock for Killy v Rangers. Did you know the roots of one of the most famous whiskey brands in the world is from Kilmarnock? They were really innovative because they moved to spare bottles for ease of transportation, for less energy, to make sure they got more bottles in the crate. Big Rabbi Burns section as well. Obviously, um, one of his quotes is on the badge of Air United, Kilmarnock's biggest local rivals, but I've never been in here before. The amount of times I've been to Kilmarnock, I've come down a little bit earlier this afternoon so I could check out the Dick Institute where we are now. And there's so much stuff about Killy that I just never knew. Oh yeah, this is bringing back some memories. I've spoken about the old lace industry of Ayrshire before during my few visits to Darvel. Hang on, we found the best part of the museum, a 1997 Scottish Cup final ticket between Kilmarnock and Falkirk. Falkirk currently in League One. Kieran. Aiden. Callum. Killy fans? Yeah. yeah. How is life being a Killy fan at the moment? Pretty good? Great. Yeah, it's good. It's one loss in 14, which is quite good, I think. Uh, That's really decent good. run. I think Europe's definitely in our sight and Hamden. So I think the first time, one of the first times I saw Killy, you were in the championship. Yeah. You just yeah. mentioned Europe there. You must be pretty confident of, of oh, getting into the top. Yeah, what do you reckon? What's happening? Do you reckon they'll get into Europe? Kilmarnock? What, Kelly? Are you Kelly? Rangers? Mm, no, I'm a Rangers fan, but... Do you reckon they'll get into Europe, though? Killy? No chance. No? And uh, you must be happy, though, with Clermont? Rangers, uh, how things are going, yeah? Good. Uh, yeah. Both clubs, but what do you lads reckon score-wise? Do you think you'll get anything from them today? 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. What do you reckon, lads? 3-1 <laughs> Rangers. Killy have been good against the big teams this season, haven't they? So, no chance. But you reckon today, 3-1. 3-1 Rangers. What on earth has happened? Literally, the drive from the museum to the stadium, the heavens have just absolutely opened as you will be able to see and hear from inside Rugby Park right now. But yeah, we've got a really exciting game on our hands in the Premiership today. We are going to be seeing the top two creators in the league this season. One from either side. You've got Rangers right back, James Tavernier. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, it will be on screen. He's created 13 chances this season, big chances. And Danny Armstrong for Kilmarnock is first in the Premiership for big chances created this season. My name's Elliot Boyce, I'm a stadium announcer uh, here at Kilmarnock Football Club. And so quite an interesting fact you've told me about today, obviously there's no big screen in here, yep. but there will be VAR obviously, so if anything VAR related happens, so it comes through your iPad, It comes right? through the iPad, okay. so uh, from Clydesdale House, if there's any decisions on the field, they fire it onto the iPad, and that's where once the referee makes the decision, you'll hear the announcements in the stadium. And how's things for you announcing things here at Rugby Park, it's particularly going, at the moment? It's going well, sitting in fourth place just now. You can't complain, the results are, are going well, and when the results are going well, the place is happy, so it makes my job easier, and the fans are all enjoying it, and good atmosphere uh, cropping in more and more, so no, all going well. And apart from the VAR, yeah. what's maybe something that fans may not know about your role and other stadium announcers roles around the country I think it's important just to get involved with the fans we're constantly looking online seeing what um, everyone's asking for seeing what people want and trying to kind of increase the fan um, increase obviously what the, the fan engagement and yeah, yeah, things yeah, from yeah. that so yeah it's just about engaging making the fan experience better in match day and, and hoping everybody's happy at the end of the it the voice of rugby park thank you mate right, cheers Sam, take thanks care, man mate.
was Elliot, obviously, who we heard from earlier, the voice of Rugby Park. I always come here and hear him say, we are Killy, before the game. And it really gets the Killy fans up. There's some great people here at Kilmarnock, particularly the guys that I've got to know who work in the media team. They produce some really good content, so do make sure you go and subscribe to their YouTube channel, just like I have. Oh, how has that not gone in? I feel like this one could be won all already. We're only seven minutes in. And Killy, who have been incredible against Celtic and Rangers this season, have the chance to go ahead here. It's a penalty and it's going to be... Is that Danny Armstrong? I think it is. chances in this league was it him who won the penalty as well I think it was his cross that might have got handballed and he's took it he scored it and Killy are on fire this season Rangers are losing Celtic are winning and if things stay this way then Celtic will be back on top by a point oh, I could easily be two for Killy so many chances in this game for both sides. There's goals in this one. It's now 5-0 to Celtic and the goal difference swing has now swung in Celtic's favour. I think it's a uh, level on goal difference at this point, but things will obviously change as tonight goes on. We're approaching half-time now. Oh, it's been a really scrappy game. That's what I was going to tell you, like in my little half-time bit, is how scrappy it's been, and literally on cue, there's a foul on the Killy player. There's been a lot of fouls, individual battles. Um, a few chances from either side. It really could be going either way right now. With Celtic absolutely destroying Dundee, if things stay the same, Celtic will be top tonight. The title race has just gone from one end of Glasgow to the other, back to the other one, to this one, to that one. It's been a mad title race so far and it's continuing here, but title race aside, Kilmarnock have been absolutely incredible this season and today. Oh! And it could have been 2-0 to Killy there. Should be half-time in a second, so I'll see you in the second half. Two changes for Rangers at half-time. Silva and Barisic off. Yilmaz and Dessas on. Barisic had a bit of a mare in that first half, but here we go. As is usually the case here, Killy, a few poles of uncertainty for us today, but you got to love the old character of these stadiums. But as you can see, Rangers with a free kick, the pole is in between ball and goal. And here comes the Rangers captain, can he deliver? Oh, yes he can! I thought the keeper had tipped it wide then, but as you can see, 1-1. Now level on points and level on goal difference for Celtic, but 
They are only behind them on goals scored. Celtic have scored 67 at this stage. Big number for the club, obviously. Uh, Rangers have scored 62. So, yeah, this title race this season, absolutely mad. And it's hard to keep a track of when you're at these games. Who's top and who's not? Tom Lawrence. Obviously, but the title race this season is making the fans do some crazy stuff. Great finish from Tom Lawrence. Rangers have turned it around here. As good as Killy have been. Killy have had chances in this half as well. And they're top again now. There you go. and seven different scorers for Celtic. How weird's football. Celtic 7-0 up, cruising. Dundee get a player sent off, then a few minutes later they score themselves. I don't think they can get rid of the Rangers fans from behind that goal. You lost your voice a little bit. It's a bit disappointing, the boys put in a good effort. Yeah, they played but, really well, I thought. Do you know what I mean? Rangers are a good team this season. Um, going one now up, gave us a buzz. But the boys put in a good effort. Could have gone either way, couldn't it? Both sides missed a lot of chances. It could have, but if you look at, I think Celtic won 7-0. 7-1, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes the title race a bit more exciting in that standpoint. Yeah. But, Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But yeah, I completely agree with that. I think the changes really, really changed it for Rangers. They looked a lot, a lot more on it. The changes at half time. We're at the end of February now, so we're getting into spring. I can't wait for winter to end personally, but <laughs> obviously that also means that the European knockout rounds are going to start which Rangers are in Celtic aren't do you think that will hold Rangers back because when they did get to the Europa League final they definitely had some European hangovers in that season yeah I think they maybe did that season but I think they've got a bigger squad now I think there's they've got a little bit more strength and depth there's obviously been the issues with registration to too big a squad but that I mean, actually just helped now for that could help them so, yeah, yeah, yeah I think that well we spoke about that before the game actually but I think that could help them with that extra strength that depth you can see already in his time Philippe Clement he likes to rotate the squad yep. you know players are playing for their place every week they know that they're going to play a little part here and there sitting the sidelines here and there and that's but there's this kind of collectiveness at Rangers now and I think that's what might just see them through and for Kilmarnock then let's finish on them the home team what a job Derek McInnes has come since so coming into the championship like where does he like, say Steve Clark was to leave the Scotland job at some point soon he's got to be one of the top candidates on the list for I think what he's, he's done here. I think he is the top candidate on the list. Yeah. Do you know, do I think he's going to go anywhere else after Kilmarnock? No. But I think he'll go to Scotland. Um, it's not a conversation I think we want to talk about at the moment from a Scotland point mm-hmm. of view. But he did so well at Aberdeen, is, didn't he? And he's oh, yeah. doing well here as well. Uh, here on a tighter budget, you know, yeah. a lot more constraints around about him here yeah, yeah. financially. So I think Kilmarnock fans have to be really happy. They'll be going away tonight very disappointed not to get a point or even a win yeah. this evening but uh, I think maybe just towards the end of the game they might just have ran out a little bit of steam so positive stuff for them though. oh massive I think that's what second defeat in 15 or something like that mad, if not yeah. the last defeat might well have been against Rangers so yeah, yeah. you know that shows you just how well they're doing well, Killy will be slightly disappointed with that, I'm sure. And that just shows how good they've been this season. They're coming away from games against Rangers, losing narrowly disappointed. I know for them, um, usually like for clubs that aren't Celtic and Rangers, playing against Celtic and Rangers, they're sort of like free hits for them. You expect nothing, you might get something. But for Killy to go into these games expecting something just shows how great they've been this season. For Rangers to win against such a tough opposition, such a tough night, cold, end of February, um, pressure was on Celtic winning by a canter at home to Dundee pressure was on massively and that is just shown how much this team has changed since Michael Beale um, to now Philippe Clement I know they've made a few January transfers but obviously the squad is still largely the same so it's really impressive what Clement has been able to do in such a short time at the club let me know what you guys think of the title race this season and Killy's chances of getting into Europe I know Mother, um, Motherwell beat Livy today Livy look like they're going to get relegated um, so many interesting stories stories from the top to the bottom of the premiership this year hope you're enjoying all the content please if you've got this far in the video and you haven't already hit that like button please subscribe if you aren't already as well thank you so much for all the support i'm gonna leave a couple of videos on screen uh, one rangers related one kill related so you can continue watching thank you so much and goodbye